What's up guys, Neon Gamer Guy here and today I'm going to start a new series on my channel. Alright, so the series I'm going to bring you guys is called Around the League. And if you can't tell from the name, basically I'm just going to be talking about things that are going on around the Premier League. So I'm going to talk about big transfer news, um, big games like upsets and stuff, uh, big upcoming matches, and like how I think the season's going in general. So to start off with episode 1, I'm bringing you guys my league table predictions. So I'm going to basically tell you who I think is going to be in what position at the end of the season. Who's going to win the league, who's going to be in the Champions League spots, and who is sadly getting relegated. Now I know I'm a little bit late on this. Um, I know a couple other people have already done this, and the season's already three games in, but I kind of just thought of this series idea recently, and I decided to bring it to you guys. And what better way to start off the series than by predicting what's going to happen at the end of the season. So let's just jump right into it, shall we? All right, so I'm gonna start off with the top four spots, okay? I'm gonna start with number two, then three, then four, and I'm gonna go back up to number one. In number two, I have Manchester United. Now, they brought in Memphis Depay, who's a great player. I watched him play against Club Bruges. He did very well. He scored two goals, almost got a hat trick, and all, he's an all-around good player. They, they picked up Schweinsteiger too, who is a super sub for them. Um, and Club Bruges again. So basically that's what I'm thinking about Manchester United. I think they're gonna be second. I don't think they're quite gonna win the league, but they're gonna be one of the top talents in the game. All right, moving on. In number three spot, I have a little bit of a controversial pick, but I think number three is gonna be Chelsea. Now, they did win the league last year, but not many teams have gone on two years in a row and won the Premier League. I know Chelsea's got a lot of good talent. They got Diego Costa up front, they got Willian, uh, they got Oscar in the midfield, and they got a solid t defense and Terry Cahill, Zuma, and of course Thibaut Courtois. But I don't think they're going to do as well this year. I think the pressure is going to be too high for them, and they're going to crumble. Watching them in their game against Man City, they got beat 3-0. And you know, Man City is a solid team, so it's not a surprise that Chelsea could lose to them. But they just weren't playing at the level I see of a league winner. I watched the game, Man City was in their half the entire time, they had great chances, and they scored most of them too. So I know some of you might not agree with me on that pick, but that's where I think Chelsea is going to finish this season. Moving on to number four, I have Everton. Yeah, I said Everton. So I've watched them recently, and they've been performing very well. We've got Tim Howard, who's a solid goalkeeper between the posts, so they're not going to be conceding too many goals, hopefully. And I watched them play against Man City today, and they, they held their own against a very solid team. Uh, with Leighton Baines also on the team, I think he'll do well. They have also got Romelu Lukaku and Arune Kone up front. So with a good strike force like that, you can't really go wrong. So I think Everton are going to finish fourth this year uh, with a Champions League spot. All right, now the big one, back up to number one. I think the league winners of the 2015 season is going to be... No, I'm just playing with you. I think number one is going to be Manchester City. Now, I know a lot of people say Chelsea, but as you've already heard, I put them in number three. I think if you just look at Man City's team, they have a very solid all-around. They got Jesus Navas on the right wing. They got Raheem Sterling now on the left wing, who I think is going to be a big player for them. And he's already shown it in some of, the, some of his early games. They've also got Sergio Aguero up front, who is just a beast, right? He's one of the best strikers in the BPL, if not the best. They got Joe Hart in goal, who's a very consistent and steady goalkeeper. They got Vincent Company, who I think is probably, arguably, the best center back in the BPL right now. In the midfield, they've got David Silva and Yaya Torre. That combination is insane. Now, I'm not even a Man City fan, but I do think Manchester City will win the league this year and take number one spot. All right, now we're jumping down to number five, and I think at number five is going to be the Reds' Liverpool. Now, they've got a very solid team now that they picked up Benteke. Uh, and with Sturge up front with them too, uh, they're going to be a very fast, rapid, and very strong strike force. Liverpool is an all-around good team, and I think they're just going to miss out on the Champions League spot, but take number five. Now, before the season even started, I would have bet money that this team would be number one, or at least in the Champions League spot. What team am I talking about? Arsenal, right? So they picked up Petr Cech, who's a very good goalkeeper, right? Got Giroud up front, who's got some pace, and but he can pass the ball very well. They got Alexis Sanchez on the wing, and all around their, their team is very good. But so far this season, they just haven't been performing the way we'd expect them to. They lost 2-1 to West Ham, who normally West Ham isn't that good of a team, but they still got defeated. Now that we're talking about West Ham, that takes me right along into number 7. I think now that they picked up Payet, who's pulling the strings in midfield, I really think West Ham United is going to have a good season. They're going to finish 7th, right below Arsenal. 
I think West Ham United is a very good all-around team, and I'm a little bit surprised they haven't been doing better these past seasons. But I do think they'll turn it around this year and finish above mid-table. In my number eight spot, I have Leicester City. Now, so far, they've been performing pretty well, and they're in the upper table in the BPL so far. But sadly, I don't think it's going to stay that way, and I think Leicester City will fall to number eight. Number nine is a steady team that's generally about in mid-table. I think Newcastle United is going to take number nine this year. They've got solid talent like Sissoko and Remy Cabea and Colocini as their center back, but I don't think they have enough talent to play at those upper levels and be in the top of the table. I think they'll be consistent in mid-table. Now, Crystal Palace has been playing all right this season, and they got, you know, an all right team, and I think they'll finish in 10th. Right now, they are, like Leicester City, higher in the table, but I do think they will drop down to number 10 when the season ends. Number 11 is a little bit of a sad one. So we've seen this team have a little bit of success in past years, but this year they lost two of their very good players, and I think they're going to fall to number 11. If you haven't guessed yet, it's Aston Villa, right? So they lost Benteke to Liverpool, who was a very solid striker for him, and they also lost Fabian Delph in the midfield. Now, without those two star players, I don't think Aston Villa is going to perform like they have been, and they're going to drop to number 11. Still a solid position, but not to the level you'd expect Aston Villa to be at. Now, in number 12, we've got Swansea City, right? So they lost Wolford Boney to Man City, who is a very good striker for him, and without him, I don't think they're going to succeed at the level they have been, and they're going to drop to number 12. Now, picking up the pace, moving right into number 13, and we've got Tottenham. This one's a little bit of a surprise, too, and a lot of people will probably be mad at me for saying this, but Harry Kane had a very good breakout season last year. We can't deny that. Now, I don't think he's going to do as well this year because he's got a lot of pressure on his shoulders, and I think he's going to crumble, and the team's going to crumble with him. They've still got good talent like Ericsson and Vertonghen and a couple other players, but I don't think they're going to do as well as they are, not just because of Harry Kane, but I just don't think they're going to do as well as they have in the past seasons, and they're going to fall to number 13. Now, from here on out, I don't have much to say about these teams because I don't track their performances and their games that well. I just, this is where I think, from what I've heard, where they're going to place. And number 14, I think it's going to be Southampton. An average team, they're going to play an average season. In 15, it's going to be Stoke. I don't know much about this team except that they have Peter Crouch as one of their strikers. That's all I really know about him. Number 16 is going to be West Bromwich Albion. They're doing all right this season, but I've barely heard of this team before, and I think they're going to drop down to number 16. Number 17, I got the Tigers of Hull City. All right? Not much to say about this team. They're going to play 17. In number 18, I think it's going to be Norwich City. I don't hear much about this team, and I think they're going to barely avoid relegation and place 18. All right, number 19. I actually have a little bit to say about this team, right? AFC Bournemouth. That's who I think is going to be number 19. So I watched them play against Liverpool, my favorite team, and Liverpool barely scraped by with a 1-0 victory. AFC Bournemouth had a couple chances that maybe should have gone in against Liverpool. Um, Liverpool had the same, but I do think AFC Bournemouth was a little bit dominant. Um, well just They just had a slight edge over Liverpool, and if they can get an edge over a good all-around team like Liverpool, I think they'll do all right. Now, a lot of people think AFC Bournemouth is going to be relegated, but I think they're just going to barely scrape by, just stay above those relegation spots and stay in the league this year. Unfortunately, three teams do have to be relegated from the Premier League each league, and here's the first one I have going down to the Championship League. Fulham FC, right? Not much to say about them. I don't think they're going to do that well. They're going to be relegated. Number 21, I have Watford City. They just came up from the Championship League, and I think they're going to return. I don't think they have what it takes to succeed in the Premier League, and they're going to go back down. Number 22 at the bottom of the Premier League. I don't want to put any team here, but someone has to. And I think number 22 is going to be Cardiff City. Again, not much to say about them except that they have a bird on their logo. That's all I got. So basically, I think they're going to be number 22, and that's where they're going to be at the end of the season. All right, so that's basically it. There's the table. I'll give you another look at it real quick. I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below whether you agree or disagree with my table, whether you think I'm on to something, or I've just completely lost it. Also, let me know what you guys want to see me talk about in the Around the League series as I release more episodes, because I need some ideas. Also, make sure to smash that like button, and also subscribe to me. The support is greatly appreciated. Uh, it means the world to me. Um, so that's basically it for me today, and I will see you guys later. Peace! Now, number eight's a little bit of a shocker, I think. Uh, they got now this year I don't think he's going to succeed as well because he's got a lot of pressure on his shoulders I just can't freaking talk whoa whoa uh, with talent like Sissoko 
Remy Cabea. Um, I think they're just going to finish ninth. 